Should the kitchen table be the only place you eat dinner? If questions like this have crossed your mind, then you're in good company. Today we'll be taking a closer look at some of the daily habits and social conventions that make up the monotony of life. Let's continue to question why no one has designed a decent looking sandal. (laughs) Grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of friendship. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. Now, before we get started, Dion, something that came out unbelievably so based off a discussion from our last episode talking about throwing Christian throwing the kimchi into the rubbish full of glass. Yes. Well, it was a glass not full of... <laughs> wait, 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 the kimchi, the kimchi was full of glass? <laughs> well, here the real story's coming out now. <laughs> so Christian threw a whole jar of kimchi into the bin. Yes. And then Dion. Yep. This is after the episode. We weren't rolling <laughs> and we're like, save this. Yep. You said... Often, you will empty food goods into your toilet. So, to, to qualify <laughs> that... So, hang on. So hang on let, let's take a step back because we need to go through fundamentals with you, it sounds like, Josh. What are you, what's going in the toilet usually? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the fundamentals. What, 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 what's, what's, so, it's usually urine? Yes, human excrement. Human excrement. Anything right. else? No, no, I don't think so. Some beard hair, probably? I'd say, I'd say oh. paper. Toilet paper. paper. Oh, toilet, toilet paper. paper. Oh, yeah. That's Jesus. a good one. Yeah. Um, toilet paper, human excrement, pee, beard hair. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, sometimes when you've got something in the fridge and it's been there for a long time, what do you do with it? You can't put it in the bin because it'll stink. You don't want to take it out to your bin because that will stink. You don't know what to do with it. So if it's in a human excrement form, put it down the toilet. What do you mean a human excrement so, form? For instance... A curry that's been in the fridge for ages, right? Yeah. Just because they look the same doesn't mean they both flush. Hang on. No, 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 no. Flushing. No. So, the, so the, the qualification is it can't be something that's that's lumpier than a poo. <laughs> <laughs> so milk, as an example, what are you going to do with milk? Pour it down the sink. So why is the sink? Have you checked out your drainage? It's exactly the same. I think. <laughs> I think it's the same. Is it the same? What do you mean? Sink, sink. Th- no, you know what I mean. You're taking. You. Do, that's a, when you Go say on. I know what I mean. You're taking your time to think it through in your own head. I know. I know why you don't flush things down the toilet. Why? Because you can clog the toilet. No, but this isn't cloggable stuff. Hang on, hang on. But fats can clog the toilet. Then, do, so what, so everything that you're passing through your body is everything that's in the fridge. It's a good, it's very compelling hang argument. Hang on a second. Hang on. What do you think your body does? Do you think you're just a straight pipe from your mouth <laughs> to your ass? No, I just think that, oh God. <laughs> no, I just think that um, if you've got something in the fridge that is in that form, you're not putting, you're not putting a bloody T-bone, uneaten T-bone steak down there. <laughs> you're talking about like, yeah, a curry, maybe some, are you putting rice down, some uneaten rice? Is that going I haven't, but I would. I, do you know what? It, we shouldn't need to justify why you shouldn't flush it down the toilet. Yep. Why are you thinking to do that? It doesn't make any sense. But where else do you put it? Where? Tell me. There are so bin. many other no, places. No, no. Tell me, where are you? So a curry that you've forgotten about, it's back of the fridge in your Tupperware container. Where are you putting it? It's in your, so it's a home Tupperware container. <laughs> it it's not a, pla- no, no. If it's a takeaway plastic, the whole thing goes. If it's made of glass, hang I'll tell on, you where to put on, it. Hang on, hang yes, on, Yes, there are on. situations. Hang on. There are situations Christian. where it's warranted. I mean, Josh thinks. I, I was just cracking a really great gag oh, that got, oh, no. that got Spoken over, so that's right. Let's let's hear what you got to say, Josh. It's so interesting watching Christian say that gag because he was riding high whilst we had this thing going. Um, what did you say, Josh? I said sometime if it's like really gone, you just it's a, and it's a takeaway container. Just throw the whole thing in the in the landfill. What what do you mean? Throw the entire thing away? If you've got something that's really gross. And been in the fridge oh, for too long. What's the difference? Dion, may I call hypocrites? Glass. Absolutely. 1 800 hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No, so. Sometimes no. the plastic they get cracked, they get chipped. No, that's that wasn't your original point. You're I backtracking. Know. Oh, <laughs> I have, oh, I that's have. rubbish. So what's your point? No, my point is You're right. Freak. I would probably just tip it straight in the bin, <laughs> the landfill bin, right? No, no, just say it's yep. a curry, right? The curry's yep. gone. Yep. Open it up, yep. pour it in the bin, yep. rinse it out. Tell me what you're doing if it's a if it's a plastic Tupperware container. Pouring it in the, tipping it into the bin, and then pouring what? out the, clearing out the Tupperware, cleaning it up, and then what are you doing with the but bin? The, the bin's fine, okay. That, that's what it's built for, okay. So, maybe, maybe I'll put some paper towel in there to like catch it, <laughs> right? To help catch the it. The essential <laughs> question here is: if your food is so mouldy yes. that it's a hazard, yes, what do you do with it? That's right. That is the essential question. Christian, go back, please. You have an opportunity. You have a 
you have probably a 10 times in a lifetime opportunity. You put a glass jar of kimchi. It had fermented. It was impossible. You were thinking, oh, this is going to be a drag to clean. I'm just going to put it away. It's exactly the same. It is exactly One the same. One may have put it's it down the toilet. so easy to just clear that out, though. Why is it not easy to clear out a plastic one? No, no. It depends what's in the thing, right? You can't answer no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what, not an argument. So, it depends what's in the thing. Does it dep- what about what about the state of the your kimchi. ankle? The <laughs> kimchi. The kimchi's got... Ex- We're back on the kimchi. <laughs> Just straight in the bin is fine, okay? And your point, Dion, sometimes yep. you, you maybe want to go straight out into the main bin. Maybe I'll wait till the, ni- till the night that the bin's going out and then I'll put it in the bin and then put it in the main bin. Mm. Could, I, could I pose an alternative to both of you? Is there an alternative to both if, of our opinions? If you... <laughs> the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> if you have... Compost, that's an obvious one. Mm-hmm. But oh, I course. think, just put it in the garden. Mm. Dig a hole, pop it in. Dig a hole now? Oh, yeah, dig a little hole. Wait, have you ever done this? Or are you just is this just a pie in the sky well, or, or pie in the dirt? Normally, and Josh can attest to this, normally I'll just throw it on top of the dirt <laughs> as opposed to digging the hole. Actually? Yeah, absolutely. Hang on, can you put chicken in the ground? That's where it came from originally, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you have a, if you have a chicken curry and you're just going to toss that on the you, <laughs> toss it you, on the tomatoes, on, is the question whether chicken will break down. The question's not for me to interpret. <laughs> <laughs> food <laughs> on a global scale, food onto ground <laughs> is fine. Okay, no, this isn't global. In the society it's, it's, we live in. It's in the not, society we live in. It's not global. It's Carlton North. <laughs> <laughs> it should it should go in the bin. It shouldn't go in the toilet. It should go in Sorry, the toilet is sewerage. That's no, the perfect no, place. No, no, Dion, I, th- I think we can all... We've moved on beyond toilet because it's so ludicrous. You n- Stop flushing <laughs> food down the toilet. It doesn't make any sense. Have we talked about whether you both urinate in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Very different again. Hang Have on. we talked about this? S- S- are, you t- are you tipping your milk into the shower? Is that what's happening? Your uh, stale milk? No, but I'm urinating into the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going back to back here. I've got another before we get started. Before we get started, Josh, you mentioned a couple of patches ago that you have um, taken on um, a new attitude to the comma. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and I've noticed that there is this hyper awareness that you've got about using this comma. And I think Correctly the, the, and accurately. The worst, yes. the worst thing about it, and I've got a couple of examples here, but the worst thing about it is my name always ends up at the end of the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> hang on. Hang, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on, Dion. Can we get a bit more context? Sure. Josh, well, I'll ask you, Dion. Yes. Dion, yes. did Josh make a line in the sand decision that he was going to try using the comma properly. You did. No. You said that to us like a couple of months no, ago. No, no. It wasn't. Like a, you're really enjoying it. This yes, newfound comma. Yes. It wasn't like a decision. I was like, wow, my vocabulary is great. No, it's not <laughs> vocab. But these are, so this is a selection of some of the, some of the sentences. Good work, comma, Dion. Go for it. Full stop. Good hustle, comma, Dion. This this is on Telegram. Yeah. These are text messages. Good work, Dion. Okay, you're so not, you're not a recruiter. This, sorry, sorry. Good work, Dion. Hang on. That's the sentence. Dion, no, what not... if it was what if it started Dion, comma, good work, full stop. I think it's weird. You're not a recruiter on LinkedIn. Like you're not you're not writing me I... a message and oh, I thought that was a good line. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta I'm try it again. You... <laughs> I'm giving you instruction as how to read my sentence. No, good job, Dion. I don't need your instruction on how to read your it's sentence. It's my sentence. No, but I'm reading it. It's for yeah, me. No, but it's my sentence, and I want you to read it how I interpret it. So my my view is is the period or the, or the period is no longer needed to finish sentences. We don't yeah. need that anymore. You've already in this in this podcast. You've already told me off about using full stops at the end of sentences. That's right. And I, and in my research, I read that in text and online chats, a period has been replaced by the simple line break. Which is really clever, right? We don't yes, need to full stop yes, stuff. Fair. You just do line break. So unless you want to come off as cold or passive aggressive or whatever it is, so you- the comedy on stuff, it's got to go. <laughs> it's so your, go. your qualm is that correct use of grammar comes off as aggressive. No, 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 no. It's So hang on, so hang on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got, oh, <laughs> Sorry. I got a problem with you and commas and you and full stops. <laughs> Maybe we've got a problem with you not punctuating anything, Dion. No, you can't just have no. one. You can't have 50 words in a sentence. No, so there we, there we go. So I thought that as Break well. Break your thoughts up. Early in Greek Latin text didn't have any forms of punctuation. They didn't even have spaces between words. You just had to figure it out. And later on, 
punctuation and spacing was added to help guide novice readers. Oh. You don't need it. You yeah. just need slabs. Yeah, You're a novice. I'm guiding you. <laughs> but you don't need it. No, you don't you need do. punctuation. Punctuation was uh, was for the people who didn't read. It, it, <laughs> whatever they were called. So we're in a group thread, right? Yep. So you need to know that the good work is targeted to you, Dion. If I just said good work. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. If you said good work, Dion. Yeah. I have a problem with a comma, not you using my name. I, I, it, it's correct. It's, I don't understand no, no, how no. you issue no, it be accurate it's, and correct. It's too formal. It's, it's not too formal. It's far too formal for a quick, a quick exchange. It's just, a, I, I, yeah. I, I don't. When I use it, I don't feel right sending a message off to someone without the comma because otherwise, it's good work, Dion. But I understand what Josh is saying. It's good work, Dion. But, 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 but more to the point. Why have you just decided using it now? You never did because that. I've I've got a better understanding of how it should be used. Do you though? <laughs> I think my favorite use of comma is when it's like a little aside to the sentence. So you have a sentence and then you have a little aside within the sentence. It's like, hey, yeah, here. yeah. Oh, it's great. It's like a little sil- <laughs> soliloquy in your brain. Look, look at cute little Christian trying to move the conversation off. Off, 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 the, <laughs> off the, the arguing. Off the arguing. <laughs> we can't just have an entire podcast full of targeting Christian, each other. what do you think when you read those? Does Josh address you like that? I don't think about it. I don't think about that when <laughs> anyone messages me. The only time I think about it is when there's improper use of grammar that it's caused me to have to reread the sentence because I'd like to be guided through mm. the message. I'm a novice. So Treat you, me like a novice. So you want? Okay. You know what? I'm going to step up the commas. Great. Great. Ste- step, Great. Step them up. You won't be able to get through sentences because you'll be pausing all the time. <laughs> And now it's time for Oh Wow of the Week. Oh Wow. Oh Wow. Oh Wow. Instead of Once Upon a Time, many Korean folktales begin with Back When Tigers Used to Smoke. (laughs) What? Oh Wow. Oh Wow. Oh Wow. (laughs) Oh Wow. All right, there you go. Is that enough for you? Or? Yeah, that's plenty. Thanks, mate. Okay, cool. Well, let's eat. Yeah, cool. Uh, do you want to watch some TV? Um, no, no, we'll just eat at the kitchen table. No, 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 on the couches. No, no, I just want to eat. I just want to eat at the kitchen table though, because we're eating dinner. Yeah, we can do both. No, Dion, what do you think? Um, I think it's. I think that if you've got someone around and they're eating dinner, or if it's your housemate or something, and and they just want to go and have a relaxed meal in front of the telly, I think insisting that they go to the dinner table is weird. No, well, your preference, right? So you're you're basing it on what the guest wants to do. But what about in your normal life? Yeah, are you more inclined to eat dinner at the kitchen table or maybe sit in front of the telly? Yeah, it's a really really good question. I like to mix it up because I think that if you're having dinner yeah. at the kitchen table every night, it becomes very monotonous. I agree. I hate monotonous. They're very different meals, aren't they? They are. You might be eating the same food, yep. but they're different meals. Because there's nothing like eating dinner on a couch with the plate on your lap and that and the side movement of your two legs sort of underneath your um underneath your bottom. <laughs> Sorry, you know, when, you know when you sit, there's nothing like that. It's just very, it's very cozy when you're eating dinner. And you just have your I, your legs, your legs where? where, where are your legs? Under your bum. It's uh, you're very sitting, no, you're it's not under, your feet, but right? it's to the side. It's kind of like a position that you hey, never uh, take on in any on, other so part of your you've life. Got, you've got your plate on your lap. Yeah, plate on my lap. Dion's you don't put a pillow on top. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Dion's sitting Why side saddle on the couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pillow on your lap. Pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I sorry. Let's not take issue with that. I'm trying to recreate a table. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, you know where there's a, you know where there's a perfectly good table <laughs> back in the kitchen. And, and you know what's not there? A TV. Don't need that. No, he does. He wants to watch something. There's something that's timed. But the the point. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Multiple points here. <laughs> the timing of it is great, but also the moment that you, you enter table territory, it's so formal. Yeah, and Josh, you hate sitting opposite people at the table. No, it's not about formality. It's so much more comfortable just eating at the kitchen table because you know what? That space has been designed to eat food. Hasn't been designed. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a pl- the first table came about. They said we need somebody to eat dinner. <laughs> No, but like you've got plenty of room for the table, the cutlery, the drinks, maybe any side salad, all that stuff. Ready, easy, easy reach. You're saying you can't do that all on the couch? No, it's hell on the couch. Hang on, what's wrong with a coffee table? It's too low. No, nah, coffee table's way too low, Dion. For tall people, for short people, it's great. What do you You're mean? You're bending down. Short torso. I don't mind bending. How long are you eating for as well? No, it's no, like, no, no. It's no, done no, in no, like no, two I'm minutes. I'm with Josh that you want to be seated and comfortable yep. to eat your meal. But I don't think it needs to be done at the kitchen so table. You're going, Christian. You're you're on your lap with your plate. 
Well, hang on. So, so plate I, or bowl? Because you wouldn't go huge. a plate on you your lap. You go both. I don't, I don't care. Really? Yeah, just as long as I've got a tea towel over the pillow in yeah. case anything spills what off is, the sides. Yeah, I've never seen you do this. Oh, well, I knew he was lying. <laughs> tea towel on <laughs> the pillow. <laughs> because this is my private time, Josh. Okay. Are you, are you, are you graduating that process to the bed? Uh, Are you ever eating in bed? I, I, um, I love eating in bed, but just the nice. residual smell. And you get a yeah. bit of food on a, on a, on a doona and you, you're fucked. done. You got to yeah, chuck it out. <laughs> so, so bed's off the table for you. Bed's off the table. <laughs> yeah. But I see, I, I can't stand eating at the couch. Because yep. it's just there's too much going on. I just want a flat surface to have my plate, and I can eat and pick it up and eat and not eat when I want to. I feel I'm trying to juggle too much when I'm sitting on the couch trying to balance this plate or Wait, this bowl. So do you? Wh- how are you uh, with eating as you're walking? Can you eat as you walk? What about when you get yes. a suva? Yes, Dion, I you can, can eat as I walk. Right. So there's no table there. So what's? The, so you're more I supported think- at a couch than you are when you've got nothing. Yeah, but the the joy of the suva on the run. Is lettuce is going everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> on the pavement, on the tram Do you pick up that lettuce? Nah. Nah, you don't have to do it. No, I smush it into the what ground. What are you talking about? <laughs> he flushes it down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I can get a distinction as to where you might consider sitting in front of the TV. What if it's takeaway food? The food. I was about to get yes. to this. Oh. The food is a massive yeah. difference. So, for instance, a pizza. It's great mm. for the couch. You get up, you put a few slices on your plate, yep. you recline back, yeah. you can eat, hold it easily. Yeah. It's not spilling around everywhere. You're not, okay. No utensils. And yep. I think ah, my big line cutlery. is utensilless. Yes. Is there any other food that you eat utensilness? Any other official food? Utensilness? <laughs> Ut- <laughs> yes, you. you, yes, utensilness. <laughs> so that, that's, how all, that's how all the waiters address the chef. <laughs> yes, your utensilness. <laughs> But it's weird because because you should eat Indian food with your hands, right? A tradition, I think they do. Yeah, yeah, but I think because pizza has that amazing buffer around the substance of the food, right? So you can you can eat it, um, you know, on a couch. But I don't know. I don't mind. So you, Josh, whenever you are at home, are you always eating dinner at the table? My preference is always for table. Didn't answer um, it though, did you? Mm. <laughs> uh, if if I can, but if everyone else is eating in the living room when we get takeaway or something like burgers or something on a Friday, maybe I'll be like, burgers. yeah, I'll eat there. There you go, burgers. I, I still good. prefer the burger at the kitchen table. Yeah. I'm curious, Josh. Will you, when eating at the table, let's say that you're by yourself, <laughs> will you always sit in the same seat? Oh, great. Um, nah, I kind of just pick and choose wherever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, as a kid, Christian, did oh, you yeah. have a set seat? Huge, yeah. huge on 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 the allocated seating. I'd never sat. At another seat, a side. Really? Yep, I was on the left side, closest to the end. Great. Never sat anywhere else. And then once I did, I was very disoriented. How did that get dictated? Did it just kind of happen? Uh, yeah, it was definitely dictated. <laughs> and say I, that love, again. I love the idea that you think we're going to be able to imagine the left side at the end. <laughs> I know. I know, I did my best. But, but I'm pretty sure I sit in the same spot. I don't know. I think it, I'm, I'm trying to work out wh- who I had the most arguments with. As a kid. Because you become familiar with the dynamic of that seat. Yeah. You know how much space you have for your arms because you know who you're next to. Although, interestingly, it never transferred to a restaurant. That configuration. Didn't even think about it. Mm. Did not even think about it. So, because I don't think... We had a round table at our house. Oh, that was our weird. kitchen table where we ate most of our meals. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. A round table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we you, all, knights? We all, we all dressed as knights, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't every think really Every night Every night <laughs> Every night Come to the and table you, And you will address me As your utensil this <laughs> <laughs> And so yeah We kind of just shuffled around that And there was, really wasn't a set And I think as well It wasn't necessarily always All five of us Eating dinner together at the same time Often, yep. you know, people will be out and about or whatever. Ah, I think so that makes a big difference That's something as a kid We always ate dinner together It was like rammed down our throat If, you know, yes. whatever you're doing during the day Phone or phones, you didn't even need to do phones away. And I think, Dion, this is where we differ from Josh. I fear the time commitment of the table sit. Once you're <laughs> seated at the table with others, you're locked in till they finish their meal. Sitting in front of the TV, you've got flexibility to leave. Oh, so it's so it's anxiety producing. Christian, in terms of that flexibility to leave, mm. when you're booking a restaurant mm. and they say you've got to be out by 7.30 when you're mm. booking at 6.00, do you like that I restriction? Do. Yeah, because I think that people put too much pressure on having long conversations at the dinner. What about long nights? Josh has definitely got it. <laughs> oh, long hair nights. <laughs> 
I I know that the the sitting at the table for the meal. There's nothing like to me that wasn't the time restriction. I think I think I'm trying to think back when we were kids. I think it was you just finish. I think you had to wait till others were finished as well, but it wasn't a drawn out long. Like I can imagine your thing is just like the politeness is off the charts yeah, and you can't yeah. move a muscle. No, is that oh, true? No. Was it really, what, were you really well behaved at the dinner table or was it a bit debaucherous? Debaucherous? That doesn't imply what, what, you're alcoholics. Uh, what what child has a debaucherous <laughs> kitchen that table? That that you just <laughs> push all the cutlery off the no, table, no. start fucking on no, the no, table. No, no, that's not what I mean. Not debaucherous. Was it, was it, Um, did you have sort of, was it loud? That's what I meant. That, maybe, what, maybe like rambunctious, like kind of rowdy. Yeah, right? rowdy. Were you? Was it a? Because because jo- so Josh, you reckon Christian grew up had his dinners at a very proper setting. Yeah. Well, no, well, it was just it was just family around the kitchen table, but <laughs> you were polite enough to wait for everyone to finish their meal because there were stages to the meal. Did you wait for all family members? Of to- course, you wouldn't leave the table. Do you before, have courses? But, but <laughs> you have courses for a family normal family dinner. Have you seen me, Josh? <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. How many... Did you actually... What do you mean? Of course. No, no, no. Of we, course. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> hang on. Of so course, you gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait. Map this out. <laughs> Map this out. What, what, what entrees brought out before the mains? Uh, we're on... Yeah, you might have some... Like, if if it's a, a pasta first dish... Go on. Then you'll have, like, a main feature afterwards. Amazing. So, so what's something... That's a have... primo piatto, secondo there piatto. It's go. very... Oh. But that's, that's just the classic. <laughs> Egging me there, and I got there just to get it over and done with. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Our yeah. meals were like, here's the dinner. Maybe, maybe <laughs> there's, maybe there's dessert, Every but it's not night. formal. Hang on, but you'd have to stay seated there for dessert as well. Uh no, dessert was a bit more like, oh, there's some ice cream and some strawberries, right? Whatever. A bit it might more be. debaucherous, was it, Josh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just pour the cream over my body. <laughs> Hang on, did you ever... Ha- so you had some entrees, mains... Yeah, entree, main, there might be a salad, and then you have, like, maybe a dessert oh afterwards, and then coffees or something. This is, this is your normal family dinner. Yeah, because wow, we enjoyed beautiful. spending time together. No, but now you... Do- so you don't, t- like, spend... You're- nah. But it's made you anxious. You <laughs> no, can't even sit actually, at a dinner table with Josh. <laughs> actually, through coronavirus, we spend however many oh days in a row having... Uh, a meal together at the table every single night because there's yeah. nothing else to do, right? Whereas now we've got the internet and we can just fuck off and do our own thing. Yeah, it's yeah. time. That's the one thing, Josh. It's time well spent. But I don't think it's a time commitment. To your point, Christian, of the the sitting at the table to me, it's more a functional thing that I. It is the best layout for me to yeah. eat the meal in the most comfortable yeah. way. Disagree. Yeah, yeah disagree <laughs> as well. And, and I'm happy to take. I'm happy to take a less functional surface to eat my meal off. Yes. For the enjoyment of the film or TV show with meal. Christian, you liked the pillow. Have you ever owned a stable table? <laughs> oh, absolutely, Dion. Why, why wouldn't you get one? What's wrong with a stable table now? It's I not... just said I've owned one. Oh, no, no, no. But why wouldn't you get a new one or one that you use now? You've owned one in the past. <laughs> We're talking about the future. <laughs> <laughs> what about a massive stable table? Oh, yeah, that fits in your kitchen? <laughs> no. That you sit around? No. Great but, idea. No, TV room. You all put it on, oh your, you all put it on your laps. That's a, that is a great idea. It's not. Yes, it is. Because you're all different things. Or, or, or just put a TV in the kitchen. Yeah, that's way better. Did that you, solves everything. Were you is. allowed to watch TV? Uh, did you have a TV in proximity when you were growing up? Yeah, but, but growing up, I was facing it away from the TV, oh. which was really shit because I had to turn my neck. Would it stay on during dinner? Yeah, of course. Dion, would the TV stay on during dinner for you? Nah. nah. Not for us. No, no, no. Really? No, no. Well, how did you watch the news? Well, sometimes, actually, there would have been exceptions. Do you remember what exceptions What exceptions there it's were? It's got to be hey, hey on a Saturday, right? I reckon oh, something yeah. like that. <laughs> something like that, where it's your favourite like sport or a sporting moment or something. It's like dinner was ready. You, the trade-off between food going cold. My family's, well, my dad is big on food not going cold. you got to eat the food when it's hot. Like oh, you really? got it. Yeah. Unless it's too hot, then you're putting ice cubes in it. Yeah. <laughs> actually, <laughs> my... <laughs> The Goldilocks of your family. <laughs> Imagine that part of the Goldilocks story. The bears come through and they've got ice cream. And they put it in their suits. Just to get a bit of consensus here, mm. I'm not anti the couch eating. Sorry? I'm just way more comfortable eating at the kitchen table. And that's always my preference. Are you guys preferencing the couch or preferencing the kitchen table? If I, if I was on a desert island and I had a couch to eat on or a kitchen table. Oh... I reckon I'd go the couch. Really? I like the couch. If, it's, if it's I relaxed. was on, if I was on a desert island and I had a couch or a or a table, yep. I think I would choose the table. Why? Because it's stable. 
but it's only for one time of the Do day. I, the couch that you can recline on and catch fish from all day. Don't, let's get this <laughs> know, desert island I, out of the yeah, discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring it. I let's bring it in. That. So, does this desert island have a TV? <laughs> no. Do the fish play tunes? <laughs> the one thing, I, the one thing I will say is that I like a quick dinner at a table and then couches for drinks. Great. I don't like continuing. Great compromise. Don't like the continuing of drinks at the table. Ca- couch for dessert. Couch sure, for dessert. Sure. Couch for dessert. Couch for dessert. In a great. Let's shake hands. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Good stuff. Oh, that meal again! Just delicious, wasn't mm. it? Yeah, it was great. So much better sitting on the couch eating it as well. <laughs> I'm just glad they delivered all these. I lo- I'm the couch in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My restaurant, my rules. <laughs> uh, but yeah, obviously they've got they delivered the fortune cookies as well. Yeah. And the thing with this place, so I don't think you know, guys, it's kind of like there's one word in each of the fortune cookies, but it's still very yeah. uh, exhilarating experience to uh, to work out the fortune. So maybe I'll I'll kick us off and open the first one. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Sometimes we think hard. When we run towards the goalpost. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Sometimes we think hard when we run toward the goalpost. <laughs> there you go. Dion. When I ruminate about... Life's difficult fortune. Sometimes <laughs> I ruminate <laughs> and shake my head. <laughs> Sometimes when I ruminate about <laughs> life's fortune, <laughs> I ruminate about shaking my head. <laughs> oh no, that was, wasn't that bad. Why did I ever think that saying ruminate twice would end well? <laughs> yeah, it's a weird fortune that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll crack this one now. Yeah. Apologising is the only course of dinner. <laughs> Apologising is the only course of dinner. It's, it's great. So, so much insight. <laughs> really, really good. You know what's really, really good? Really, really good. You know what's really, really good? Every now and then with Really Good, we like to mix it up a little bit. And today we've gone with Really Gouda. <laughs> you know what's really Gouda? When the cheese you like on the cheese board is the biggest block. Really oh, Gouda. Really Gouda. Really Gouda. Do you know what's really Gouda? <laughs> <laughs> a large, good quality wooden cheese board with plenty of room. Oh, oh really, really Gouda. Really Gouda. And you know what's really Gouda? Really good. <laughs> Blaming your fart on the cheese. <laughs> oh, really good. Really good. Really good. Thank you so much for listening to that very tasty uh, episode of Morgan to Patrick. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and it's been great getting back in the studio and we really, really appreciate you listening. We know you're listening because you're hearing this. Um, um, but yeah, if you haven't followed us on social media, uh, then you should. If you have, do it again. Yes, Christian. But I think the most important thing, Dion, that we can emphasise after a show is to tell your friends. Yeah, because ultimately we don't care that much about social media. We really don't. But we care about you listening and enjoying this with us. So if you've listened to this, you like it, tell someone. Don't keep it to yourself. That's crazy. <laughs> that is cr- <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And as always, thank you so much to our patrons. You guys are awesome. We had a couple of new signups during the week. Um, we love you. You'll have your own bonus patchwork feed um, that you can add. You'll get an email straight away. You can sign up for a couple of dollars a month. Um, so go for it if you are so inclined. 
As we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh, what patch did you sew into our quilt this week? Thank you, Dion. My patch this week was me serving you dinner on the couch, a delicious bowl of alphabet soup filled with nothing but commas. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you very much, Josh. This week, I sewed into my patch, Dion making an effort to improve his grammar in a restaurant review by writing, good work, comma, your tensileness. <laughs> Yes, we got it in. <laughs> and Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Christian, comma, sitting down with his family for dinner at a stable table, choosing to sit on an assortment of couches and large jars filled with off kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Now, every now and then with Really Good, we like now, to... Now, every now. <laughs> every now and then with... <laughs> <laughs> every now and then with Really Good. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah, that was way good. better. <laughs>